What's up all you clashes? This is Kaz and welcome to Kaz Gaming. Alright, today we're going to take advantage of this egg hatchathon and I've got a ton of eggs ready to be hatched. Right after that we're going to take advantage of the uncover the treasure and see if we can get something good from that. So, let's get to it. Okay, here we go. So let's get right into it. Uh, this is my pet plaza. So we're going to be hatching a bunch of these eggs and then seeing how far we can take these guys up. Of course, what we're really looking forward to in that compendium is the next level for the, the shards. Still trying to get there. Okay, so let's find out how many gems this is going to take. So we got three ready to go, it's going to cost us nothing. Doom Balloon, Phoenix, Xavier. Other one, Celestine. Doom. Bublo, oh there's a mini Angie, that's going to help. Alright, let's go from least cost to most cost, why don't we do that. So. I wonder what's faster, just the hatch now like that, or should I put all three in and then do a hatch now? Let's try that. Let's try to put all three in for like that. And then we'll do it this way. I suppose it takes the same amount of time because it goes to this. It goes to this animation here. Phoenix, yeah, it takes the same amount of time, so we're not gonna bother with that anymore. Phoenix, Bublo, Avier, Greens, getting the greens out the way. Yep, that's uh, just, just as quick, yeah. Avier, Draco, Phoenix. And I thought that was a little faster somehow. Draco, Draco, Celestine. Okay. Celestine, Bublo, Draco. Okay. Give me something good. These guys are good. We're looking for rares, man. Give me some rares. Maybe there are more Dracos. These aren't that bad, really. 240 for, for one green, that's not that bad. We got the gems to do it, so why not, right? Nothing special yet. Celestine Bublo. We're looking for a mini Angie or a little Havoc. You had to know that this was going to happen sooner or later, right? You just don't have the time, depending on which egg you get. You do not have the time to hatch them all in one day. So they're just going to build up like this, and I figure, what the hell. I try and make a cool video out of it. I go ahead and just hatch a bunch of them for you guys. Try and see how far we can take my pets up. Down to four left here. Phoenix, Draco, Doom Balloon. What happened? I didn't I press the button? There we go. There's a little havoc. All right. I always like seeing one of those out of a green. And mini Angie. There you go. That's what I'm looking for. Celestine, Avier, last green. Okay, let's uh, check where we're at before we continue with that. Can we upgrade? I think we certainly can. So Mini Angie is almost there. So is Little Havoc. Three more of him. Draco can go to level 11. Let's do it, Draco. Level 11. Avier, level 11. Avier, what are we doing with damage there? 2300 now. You can see these pets, once they get 
high, they're going to be doing some significant uh, game changing. 31 Celestines. Alright, Celestine to level 10. 1600. Okay, and that's going to do it. Continuing on. Blues. So blues are, well, twice as much. Okay. 37k. There's a mini energy. Celestines, Phoenix. This is definitely going to bump up the levels. Definitely. There's another mini Angie, so I think we're ready for her next level. So we're really looking for a little havoc now. Another mini Angie. There he is, little havoc. All right, a couple more of those, and we'll have the level six. Now we'll be getting that plus four shards every sweep. Hatching blue eggs, bubblos and phoenixes. Got a ton more to go, 12. Another mini Angie, a bunch of Dracos on that one, that was cool. Celestines, another mini Angie. Mini Angie is liking the blue eggs right now. There he is, little havoc. I think one more and we've got it. I'm going to try and zero this out regardless. Little Havoc and Mini Angie out of one blue egg. That's fantastic right there. That deserves a coffee sip. All right. Continuing on. We'll finish out the blue eggs and then we'll go and check the compendium one more time. Ka ching Again. That's, that's nice to see. Two in a row. Another little Havoc coming in. All right. Dracos, Doom Balloons. There's that little Havoc. Three left. Oh, another double. Mini Angie, Little Havoc. Another Mini Angie. This is actually cutting into my gems a little more than I thought it would. Then I got 12 purples to go after that. I think we got enough though. I don't think it's going to be a problem. Okay, Phoenix Bubblo Aviar. Not much on the last one. Alright, let's check that compendium now. Where are we at? Yep, there you go. Level 6 Mini Angie. Doing 2000 damage. Yes, I know. I, I have to work on their pet skills as well. But, um, you know, I think I mentioned it before that uh, I was really disappointed that I got a huge charge for their pet skills. And, you know, my focus got to be the heroes right now. Then they're not maxed out. So I got to focus on the heroes with the shards. Then later on we can focus on the pets with the shards. All right, little havoc, level six. So that is gonna do it for that one. Quick check just to show. There she is. Hitting level six on the dungeon shard bonus, plus four every time. That's nice. The next one is 11 and pretty much almost there with everybody else. Just got to get a little havoc there. And we are now level 10 with that. So one more level for Doom Balloon and Bublo and we get 18% experience on the dungeon bonus. So you kind of hope for that to come, come up. 
All right, level 12 on Draco. How are we doing? Phoenix, level 11. 2100 pet damage. There's Doom Balloon, level 11. 2700 pet damage. Celestine going to level 11. And Bublo going to level 11. So was that it? I think that was it, wasn't it? So two level 11, so there you go. Sweet. That is a nice jump right there. Another 4% increase on the dungeon experience bonus. All right, moving to the purples. Purples, I like seeing these come out. Times nine. Boom. Little Havocs, Phoenixes, Dracos, and one Little Havoc. This shouldn't be too bad. 720, you do the math. It's going to take about another seven grand to get it done, so not, not too bad. Okay, two Little Havocs there. Some nice rolling. You call it rolling? You call it hatching, I guess? Some nice hatching. Dracos. Another little Havoc, Phoenix, Bublo. I'm gonna get this thing down to zero. Oh, nice roll, nice hatch. Three little Havocs and a Mini Angie. That looks cool. Give me some more of those. Oh, another one. I think that deserves another coffee sip right there. What do you think? It really is too bad, man, that, that they did that with, with the, um, the skills. I wish they would have used something else. You know what would have been awesome that they would have used, that I think everybody would have loved? Merits. Wouldn't that be awesome if you could take, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure everybody's got like, what, 400 something thousand merits just lying there doing nothing? Let me go take a look real quick. What have I got? Right? Where, where is it? Right here? Merits. 471,000. Yep, just sitting there. So if it would have took Merits to upgrade, <laughs> I know that's a far fetch. But I think that would have been awesome. I think everybody would have enjoyed that. It takes Merit to upgrade the skills. <laughs> okay, continuing on. Hatching the rest of these purples. Here we are, three mini Angies. All right, that's a nice one. Ching. Little Havoc, Mini Angie, nice. One more of each on that one. Oh, nice one again. Bottom roll, the third bottom roll stack. Nice, three Mini Angies, Little Havoc. Four more to go. The entire top row is Dracos. That kind of looks cool too. Yeah, another one of each. Sweet. Three more to go. Two balloons. Celestine, two mini Angies. All right. We are down to the last two. Bunch of Doom balloons in that one. And a mini Angie. Last row. Let's get that bottom row stack. Stack that bottom row. Uh, okay. That's <laughs> okay. Four Celestines. That's nice too, though. Celestine. That's that's just the one that's just a must use, man. That debuff comes in so handy. Right. That's gonna do it. We bombed out, and it didn't take that much. We're down to 18k. That's not too bad. And we got two more to oh three to grab here. Blue. Green, green. Okay, and how far can we take that compendium now? Okay. Nice, 21 and 18. Taking Mini Angie up. Only got her to level seven though. It takes another 
14. So five more to go on that one. 2,500 damage now, level 7. All right. Draco, yep, yeah, I could have told you we would have hit that one. I saw a bunch of Dracos. So he is now level 13. Doing 2,000 damage. Phoenix is almost to the next level. Aviar. Aviar is hitting level 12. Sweet. 2,400 damage, Aviar. This guy is a must-use as well, man, that silence. As you can see, I got him on a Green Fiend right now. This is just my Guild Wars defense. Doom Balloon going to 12. 2,800 damage now. Take out some building. That's going to help in the dungeons. I'm going to start doing some dungeon readings soon. Need to work on that Insane Dungeon 5. Celestine moving up. Level 12. 2,300 damage. Alright, and that's going to do it. So, we got to level 7 on Mini Angie Little Havoc. And everyone else is level 11 and up. Alright, I will take that. Checking that compendium. So we reached that level 11 for the experience bonus on the dungeons. Oops. Sorry about that. Bring that back up. Avier himself is level 12. So we got the resource protection bonus as well to that next step. Hero Revival time went up. And we also got the uh, red. Isn't that level 11? Who's at level 6? Oh, never mind. never mind. That's right. Level 6. We got to level 6. So we got a plus 6 now for the red. And the most important one, we got the plus 4 dungeon shard bonus. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right. So uh, you guys want to see what that looks like? Let's see what that looks like. Dungeon shards. Oh, we got something over here. What's what's this? Have a level 11 pet boost to get a legendary pet egg. Okay, thank you. I'll take that. Sweet. That's some kind of card. Does that already put it? What does that put it in my warehouse? Gift? Nope. Oh, yeah, there it is. All right, I think we'll, we'll use that. Thank you. It's kind of weird. Why doesn't it just put it straight into the pet holding area, whatever you want to call it? Anyway. All right, okay, let's, let's see what that looks like. What does that look like? Do some sweeping here, so we are on 410. Sweeping for Druid, and that's what it looks like 88 shards plus 4, and 113,610. That's plus 18%. Thank you for the gems. Oh, and now it looks as if it's bugged out a bit. I got nothing. I can't press nothing. <laughs> so we did do a whole bunch of gems. Gem uses there. Let's uh, go straight into that event. Cover the treasure. How many did we get for cover the treasure? Take a shot at that demo. 13 draws, all right. So, am I feeling lucky? Feeling lucky. Let's go far left. 
honor badges, far right. 50 merits. Take one of these middle ones, 80 shards. Okay, I like seeing shards, that's good. Uh, you want 10 Montanica Soul Stones. Okay, I'll take that. 1,000 honor badges, how about far left again? 10 Santa Boom Soul Stones. Okay, that's like pretty much nothing. <laughs> uh, let's go for that Volcanical Stone Stone. Uh, 80 shards, okay. 80 shards is good, far right. Triantar card. Oh boy. Well, thanks. At least it's a hero. Shards, kind of skipping around. How about Triantar card? Trixie Treat Soul Stones. Okay. Mystery bag level one. All right. Two more to go. How about the middles? Thousand on our badges and the other middle we didn't use. Okay, nothing great. But this is kind of a lesser one, if you ask me. That's kind of how it goes with this one. I think the chances are lower for you to get good stuff on this uh, cover of the treasure than it would be for the other ones there. Uh, I didn't do this yet today. We can do this. I sign in and win. A golden key. Thank you. I'll take a golden key. And we got our login roulette. Login roulette. I want the shards. No, no, don't give me the merits. No, the dreaded merits. No. Okay. You know what, guys? Before I hang this video up, uh, I just noticed that I got. It's the last day for these uh, last two events here the snowman and the treasure chest. So, let's. Uh, Let's see what I got. I, I had to, no, I didn't have to, but I went ahead and I did the two stamps. So we'll do some rolling here real quick before we end this thing. Hopefully we get lucky. So we, a little low, we only get four chances, but uh, what the hell, let's take a shot. Middle, shards. What does it do, it builds a snowman? Dread Drake card. Cool. How about the one I didn't pick? Candy Cane. What'd you think? Dread Drake card again? That was the better one of the three that I chose. What the hell? Death Knight card. Well, at least it was heroes. So that'll do it for that one. You know what we wanted, but we didn't get it. <laughs> and okay, treasure chest. Treasure chest. Shall we go? Let's go. Let's do the four right down, right down the the uh, the row there from the left. So that one gave a hundred gems. Next, another Death Knight card. Oh, there is my. Don't forget to finish off your Guild Wars. And uh, yes, I did finish off the Guild Wars. Three seventy shards, far right. Oh, just on the badges. Okay. All right, guys. That's going to do it. All right. And... Oh, I did pick up the uh, stamp. Guys, so I do have the... Uh, what you call the Soul Stone Crate here. I guess I can show that to you. That was kind of cool. I did one earlier. I did one yesterday, so I'm doing one today. I'm trying to get all three stamps so I get one of those... Um, one of those special hero cards, maybe get lucky there. So, six soul stone trunk. Just to check that out for you guys, just to see what it looks like. So, we'll go ahead and use that. You can open all six, right? And it looks cool, but they really didn't get anything great. Um. All right, we're going to go ahead and end that video right there. 
So I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. We uh, definitely upgraded some pets. That's going to help out. That's going to be great. Um, looking forward to uh, looking forward to doing some uh, dungeon with my new guys. I recently double evolved uh, Santa and um, Spirit Mage, so I'll be putting up some videos on me trying to knock out that insane dungeon five. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you watch the next one. Do me a favor. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. All right. This is Kaz signing out.